What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Flybug Podcast. I am the co-host, Marcos, and we're joined today with... Sincere, the host of the Flybug Podcast. And we appreciate you guys being here with us. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell notification. I think you got some great topics for us today. I have a whole book of criminals. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research about people that, and this could be arguable to you, that I feel like should be locked up, exclamation mark. (laughs) (laughs) There are two criminals that we're going to evaluate today. It is Nate Boone, that's his nickname, Boone, Mm -hmm. Craft. So Nate Craft, Nate Boone Craft. Okay. And the second person is Sammy the Bull Gravano. The Bull? Yeah. Like pool with the B? Yeah. Got you. Or the Bulls. (laughs) Jordan. Or like the animal, the (laughs) the Bull. Yeah. Yeah. A male cow. Okay. A bull. Or a male anything. I'm a bull. Yeah. The biggest bull. Anyways, they did horrendous <laughs> things. Both of these people did horrendous things. Clean segue. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. I'm the biggest bull. <laughs> yeah, man, you're on one. Yeah. So these people are, are, I'm assuming they've been convicted or what labels them as criminals? They have admitted to a abundance of crimes. Got deals through the government mm-hmm. and got out of pretty much serving life or death oh. sentence, depending on where they are and what the laws are there. But yeah, so arguable. Some people don't like the death sentence at all because they're nerds. <laughs> no, because a lot of innocent people go to jail. Like a yeah, lot. Yeah, 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 so, you know, yeah. killing people is crazy. Have Boone you ever heard of Nate Boone? I think I've seen one interview. Yeah, I don't think it's like on Vlad or anything. Just somebody like had him on a chair talking about some crazy stuff. Yeah, but hearing his backstory would be interesting. Yeah, uh, the first video I seen of him was it was him showing like him his body, but like living his type of lifestyle, you either die or you go to prison for life, mm-hmm. or you end up crippled like me. And then he he put up his shirt, and it's just like it looked like sand, but you went like that. Oh so, my gosh. Like, pretend like flat sand, but like, you know how it's all like rippled up. Whoa, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, his skin is all distorted and just fucked up there. His arms and hands don't really work. He's very disabled now. So he's not doing very many hits now. <laughs> so that's his condition right now. He was a Detroit hitman. Mm. So he was a feared hitman. Like, he was a big deal out in Detroit. And the gang that he operated out of was the Best Friends Gang. That is such a misleading name yeah. for a gang. Yeah. I'm assuming they were all friends and they just did stuff together. That's a good assumption. Okay. I mean, it's a bad assumption. Oh. Yeah. When we find out later news, yeah, that yeah. assumption was ass. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the worst assumption of today. I mean, I'm trying. <laughs> Uh, but Nate Boone, <clears throat> excuse me, he, okay, so his beginning life mm-hmm. was crazy. First crime was at nine or 10 years old. Mm. He was selling heroin. Oh, So I wow. guess that was his first crime. But his first, like, murder was also at like nine or 10. So he was selling heroin at nine or 10 for a dude. And he would just be like a little runner kid, you know? Mm-hmm. So he's like taking the drugs to the people and dropping off the money and taking a percentage. And one day he goes up to the person who he's getting the percentage from. And he's like, all right, bro, you need to give me a bigger percentage. What the? And the dude's reaction is like, I don't know. Fuck you. You're a kid. Mm-hmm. Right? <clears throat> Nate is is him and his little friend. They're both the same age. Mm. This is how he re- retells the story. Um, the dude is like, "Fuck you, no, swear I don't." Jar. Oh, swear jar. Mm. Screw you, pal. You're a little kid. Mm. I should whoop your ass. And in Nate's words, he said, "That's one." Hmm. And the drug dealer was like, "What's up with that? What's the accounting? What you gonna do? Like, who cares?" About that. And Nate was like, that's two. 
things. Yeah. And and I, I don't I don't know what happens after that because his explanation is very just. The guy kept talking, mm-hmm. so hang 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 hang. They Whoa. shot him. Never said three. He said, if we got to say three, like once we say three, you'll never hear it or some shit. So they say three mm. after they shoot you. <laughs> Very just, cr- not even, cr- villain- like villainous kids. Oh, yeah. These like are Gotham. nine and ten. Yeah, that is ridiculous. <laughs> Gotham, Joker's top rank. <laughs> Prospects, <laughs> prodigies, his like, reincarnations. Yeah. That's that is cr- at nine and ten. Nine and ten Whoa. years old. How do you? I guess I don't know Gave the him environment. A three count. Wow! Kill them on the two mark. Off of a raise. Oh my god! Right. So after they kill him for the raise, they dump his body in the backyard of his own house. So of that grown dude's house, they bury him in the backyard, and then they took all of his shit. And sold all of his dope and like valuables, and then continued to cook heroin out of the dead guy's house until the body was too. He said it was about three months until the body smelled too bad for them to continue, mm-hmm. like going back and whipping up dope, and I guess using it as a spot because they now the cops are going yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff because it smells like dead person. That seems very unlikely. I question some of these, but then again, I didn't shoot nobody at nine or ten years old, so I have no idea. Yeah. Okay. What part? Because <laughs> a lot of this, I'm just like. Okay. So the kid got a. Okay. So the kid he has a gun. Yes. He also knows how to kill somebody. Okay. He also knows how to get rid of a body, and I'm confused as to how much can you physically lift at that point, and also to be able to know how Two to kids. cook. I mean, even then, you know, and for nobody to see it and no blood trail or nothing, like there'd be so much, unless this is like in the middle of nowhere, even then knowing how much each piece is worth, I guess, and like knowing how to cook it, I don't know. I'm I'm assuming there's a lot of like, I'm telling you the story like real quick and I'm Mm -hmm. sure there was like, like maybe it spread out between months and like meticulous planning for a nine-year-old, but there's, I, it's crazy to me to, to even fathom Do we know that. any nine-year-olds? I'm trying to think of somebody. He was like, nine. No, no. So I can no. get like a good reference. Yeah, yeah, this. yeah. Yeah, I think like Sean's the youngest. Yeah, he, he's like. I think he's like 13 he's now. He's like, yeah, 13, 14 now. Yeah. Damn. And I don't think he could kill somebody. <laughs> it's easier to shoot body. somebody. For I sure. I don't think that's hard. Right. And especially in the environment that they were in, it was a crazy environment. Him being a drug runner, he was not the only kid who was like that. Yeah, yeah, He yeah. wasn't the only kid making an insane amount of money at a young age because they targeted kids to mm-hmm. sell the drugs. So in that community especially, he this wasn't like a rare story. These kids being like murderers. Yeah. Like kids' kids just shooting somebody mm. it's not hard just to fucking shoot somebody yeah 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 his sauce on the whole well, that's one <laughs> okay that's two <laughs> hung, hung, hung. <laughs> i think that's kind of bullshit yeah yeah maybe him and his friend jar. oh see so yeah, i swear jar maybe him and his friend did murder a guy trying mm. to like rob him or t- steal from him and stuff and trying yeah, to make yeah, it yeah. he just sauced it up because he's fucking nine right 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 um. <laughs> okay, this guy. I mean, it wasn't like it's as far as bear. The part I was like, it's hard as fuck to dig a hole. It's swear, swear jar. jar. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Sorry, gotta... this guy is pissing me <laughs> off. <laughs> but Nate had a bad childhood. Yeah, murdered his first person in nine and ten. Living in Detroit. Living in Detroit. Bro. Yeah, it's hard in Detroit. It's really hard in Detroit. Yeah, you gotta murder somebody. I don't think you got to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he, that's his first one. I'm assuming yes. there is a like a series of events that led up to his conviction because he didn't get. Did he get caught for that? He got caught later on, 
I, I believe, for more racketeering type charges. Mm. So what had got him free was he was a hitman under like the actual boss, right? And he confessed. He got immunity first, and then confessed to thirty murders. And wow. now, whoa, yes, thirty over what's like how many years? Since starting at nine, okay, <laughs> until they caught him. Do we know what years he was like killing or something? And he described most <clears throat> of them were his hit his hitman days. So it was thirty drug related murders that he pled guilty to or admitted to <clears throat> in order to get this immunity. I'd be mad if I gave him immunity and he started listing off 30 <laughs> different names. Can't events. be this bad. Yeah. Just give him immunity. Oh my gosh. We gave the wrong guy. <laughs> I think we're supposed to give the other guy. Oh yeah. And catch yeah. him. <laughs> this <laughs> is the real evil guy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the guy, I mean, at least this guy was organized. Who the fuck you guys got me in the room with, right? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy. That, 30. Oh, my gosh. A field day. Body addies. 30. That's, that's 30 people. That's 30 people, bro. That's more than some classrooms. A lot of classrooms. That is ridiculous. Yeah. So 30 people he confessed to. from Starting his first, leading up to him being arrested and charged for racketeering. And so even though you have your immunity, I guess, how do you... Get out scot free because because you're that's immunity, right? But I guess I'm just depends on the state, depends on the feds, and the fact that he's well, immunity isn't so like like cut and dry, right? I think it is. No, no, no. like I could say, Hey, I'm telling you that I killed somebody, I put the gun over here, right? Mm -hmm. And the cops go find the gun there and be like, Oh, yeah, he did kill somebody. We can't charge you with those words, right? Or even what do you though you mean they can't, <clears throat> because he confessed to it. That's his immunity. The details that you gave no, to them, just because you give them the details, they have to offer you immunity first. So he's not okay, speaking. But you, if there's a then, good lawyer, they could finesse the way out that shit. Yeah, I would no, not but you're going immunity. to jail then, because you all have right, to go through. Right. It. He was talking right, about right. it also because some people get tricked. Yeah, that's into what I'm... thinking that they have immunity. Yeah, and they don't. Okay, so complete so, immunity, state and feds. These dudes, yes. Okay, okay. Yes, he is, he got out. I believe he served his last couple of years or whatever. Mm. But he, he got out. And for somebody who did 30 murders, he's outside of prison, which is I, just insane. Man, people with to me. like weed charges get more than a couple of years. Or probably still. Oh, yeah, for sure. Which violent, is crazy. Turned violent. Resisting arrest, oh, assaulted a cop now too. Oh my god! Just add on the charges. Oh yeah. Oh, cause he had a. I think I heard. I heard Kamala say something. Yeah. <laughs> Trump does not walk it like he talks it, <laughs> or like Quavo would say, walk it like he talks it. <laughs> And somebody in the comments yeah. was like, "You would have arrested Quavo for life a couple <laughs> yeah. years ago." And I yeah. thought that was hilarious. Yeah, she was a crazy what, prosecutor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For people with well, weed, especially. Yeah, I heard about. All right. It. Anyways, off topic. And also, I should be fact checked. By the way, <laughs> sorry to get political. <laughs> um, Thirty murders. You're in the room. He's gonna serve some time. How many times you say it's a couple years? Yeah. And then he just gets out. Yeah. No vendetta. Like nobody's trying to get him. I'm just kind of confused as to. Because I've heard... They're dead, bro. Okay. I mean, sense. he was known as the Grim Reaper. Uh, Reaper. <laughs> he was known as the Grim Reaper. He was known as the Grim Reaper. He was known as the Iceman. Mm. He told them that he stabbed a goddamn... Not a cop, but one of the prison guards mm -hmm. in the neck. Ooh. With, um, with, he said with a horseshoe. But that's just what you call a shank in there. Hmm. So he stabbed him in the neck with a that. shank mm -hmm. and didn't get him good enough. The dude fell from the three stories and he said he was still alive. So he went to go grab a 50 gallon bucket thing and throw it over to try to hit his head and smash it while the guard was, yeah. Whoa. Just to finish him. 
the seventies and eighties were an insane time. That is a ridiculous. The things time. that he was describing, he was able to do. He was like, "How'd you get away with all these crimes?" He was like, "Everyone on the block knew me. <laughs> they knew when they saw me out there with that hood and them black sunglasses. Wow. Somebody in the block was gonna die." And I was like, "That was all the fucking yeah." I was like, they didn't have no oh, for that, no forensics, no cameras, no rings, no Tesla cameras. Oh my gosh! They Witnesses just had suck in this word area. Word of mouth. And he pointed out really good facts. They don't care about black murders, mm. especially black on black crime. Mm. Now they don't, but they really didn't care back then. Come on, my brother. But yeah, they so he was able to get away with murdering a lot of people because Ooh. the he was killing the right people. Yeah, cleaning up the streets. <laughs> this guy is. I mean, those are still thirty people, and I mean, obviously they were related. In, I mean, how he stated it was thirty drug related uh, scenarios. Oh my gosh, that's still a crazy number to be like. You're just good after a couple yeah. years. Like, I mean, do you feel bad for the first guy? For the first guy, yeah. no, I don't feel bad. He's giving heroin yeah, to yeah. kids, obviously, yeah, so yeah. Using them as drug runners, and yeah. He got shot by the kids. I also wouldn't like completely put my full trust into into oh, a character shit. like him. You know what I mean? I never saw this coming. Actually, <laughs> Just look at how little or how big those guns look to their little body. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it scarier though. Bro. Oh yeah, like with, Chucky. Yeah, with yeah. somebody who I don't really think like understands the circumstances is holding something so serious. Oh yeah. That's For terrifying. Sure. That's, that's like, really scary. A mentally ill person, <laughs> if they not even like, oh, he's schizo. I'm talking about like an autistic kid. <laughs> yeah. Like if you gave him a gun, like that's terrifying versus just like some regular dude. And a kid Cause he could just I like think it's a joke for a second. There's been so many. And then ah yeah. oh, no, it wasn't. Yeah. Stupid that, idiot. Oh my gosh, that would have oh I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he wasn't playing though. Mm. He said he never played games. Yeah, he never played like like what's it or tag. That's what it's he terrible, called. man. Yeah. Yeah. Evil people aren't born, you know. Oh yeah. They're made. I don't think that's true. Oh Jeffrey Dahmer. I mean, he wasn't born evil. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was like a kid. If he didn't like have like porn videos to go find that weird shit where he was into the meat, like sexually into the blood and how the shininess of it. He was like sexually into that as a kid. Evil is made, brother. That's evil, bro. Evil is made. He was opening it's things not, up and you're just not born off evil. No soul is unsavable. I guess it's not evil to get off to like meat. It's gay. It's weird. It's very weird. Yeah. Okay, so Nate Boone, absolute monster. Um, I think it's I, like, yeah, I, yeah, obviously yeah. if you kill thirty people, like I mean, there's yeah. obviously a situation where I mean, yeah. that's his profession. Like, in that line of work, you're going to do something that's kind of, like, immoral just because of the fact that that's your environment. Yeah. Oh, it's do you want to know how he got all the shots? Uh, I don't know. Sure, sure. I don't have to tell you if you don't Nah, mind. just tell me. Go ahead. Okay, tell me. how he got riddled up with bullets was he was going to go – he was doing a hit with two other dudes. Mm. And as they were firing into like a taxi or car or something mm -hmm. like that to do the hit, it was actually a double hit. And the other two dudes that he was with turned and started just shooting him. Whoa. And he was like, while he was shooting the guy they're doing the hit on, he was like, yeah, I just felt someone hot on my back. And he was like, what the hell? What? Why are you shooting me? <laughs> and then they just go like, boom, yeah, shotgun yeah. to the stomach, bro. Dang. And then I guess they kept peppering him up. And I believe this is the part where he started saucing it up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was like, that's when I brought out my gun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, after getting shot 40 times. <laughs> and everybody knows once I have my gun out, 
I don't miss. <laughs> so they all started running, all right? And uh, he said, luckily, that if they would have known that this arm didn't work and he couldn't pull the trigger, that they could have just came and, like, finished, you know, mm. like, off. But how I actually picture that night went <laughs> was, like... Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then he woke up in the hospital or some shit, bro, <laughs> like everybody else. Bro. That is, that is, yeah. yeah and yeah. they ran off because they thought you were dead, but you woke up later, man. What a miracle. Yeah. You and it's not like they heard about it on Twitter or something, you know, they just they went didn't about see their the life. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. Fucking yeah. Terminator, bro. I mean, there's, yeah. There's two sides to every story, and obviously he gave his version of it. Yeah. So until we, I mean, it could be like a, oh man, all these bullets, I wish they did hurt. That is a crazy. If I saw somebody get shot, forty four times, <laughs> with with choice weapons, right, and yeah. they were still able to even pull an arm out to do this, I'm thinking he's bulletproof. He said <laughs> these are AR bullets, bro. That is ridiculous. That rips through skin. Rips through cars. He was saying this shit rips through refrigerators. Oh my gosh. I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, I really don't. This is a character. Yeah. And I mean the interview that I saw I say interview, but the clip I saw of him is it's a it's a wicked individual. Yeah. So, what happened in the clip? Well, in the clip he was on a hit about a guy who owed some guy money, right? Yeah. So they had paid him to go kill this guy and so or off him. He meets up with the guy, him and his partner. And they see the guy, and this guy is scared. Recognizes him, knows what's happening. He was like, "No, no, don't do this. Don't, don't, you know, don't offer me. I, I I'll pay you double what he's paying you." Mm. And you know, Boone's like, "Oh man, I mean, if you can give me double or triple what my fee is, I'll just say I, I did it. I offered you. You give me the money, and then I won't do it." Mm. Mm. And so he got on the phone with his sister. You know, thirty minutes, an hour later. She drops out the money, he brings it to us, and it's all there. I counted it, everything's good. And he said, all right, man, I'm not going to do it. And so the guy was happy. He was like, oh, my gosh, thank you, thank you. So then I move out the way, and my partner, boom, cleans his head off. And then boom was laughing. like <laughs> I didn't say I was going to do it, but I never said nothing about my partner doing it. <laughs> oh, my gosh, poor, poor bastard. <laughs> and it was just like. And then the dude, I mean, obviously, I think it was a nervous chuckle, but the interviewer was, mm -hmm. like, laughing, too. And that was a terrible thing to do to anybody. Yeah. He retold that story, too, with different details, like, completely different details. Yeah, and the yeah, guy yeah. watched a bunch of his interviews. Mm -hmm. So I seen that, and I seen, the entire, like, the entire con, not the concept. I seen the entire huh? concept. <laughs> no, the context of it. And then he retold it with another interview. But he told he told him that the guy just lifted up his shirt and had the money taped to him already. He was like, "You guys promise you guys won't?" He was like, "All right." And then he's like, Tch. "And he had it just taped to his body." And then he was like, "He didn't say it." And then poof, shot him again. <laughs> Either way, it ends the same. But the money comes in different yeah, ways. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, man. With this guy, I realize when you get immunity. <laughs> You can to say whatever the fuck you want. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> swear jar. Oh, yeah. swear jar. But you could really like, be like, I caught 400,000 murders. But then you got to have like a story and it has to make sense. Right, right. So maybe he really did catch a lot. And maybe he did catch those murders, mm -hmm. but maybe none of them were as cinematic <laughs> as these stories. There's I mean, two other examples, mm -hmm. two real quick. Just to set in stone how bad this dude should be in jail. <laughs> um, this yeah. one, which one was this one quick? Oh, okay. This one, he set up another gang member. So this is after he had told he had another friend from the gang. He's in witness protection, and he's back in Detroit, though. Ooh. Bad, bad move. Word around the city, they're looking for him. Mm-hmm. Apparently, he said, everyone knew him for this hat, right? So, when he was inside one day, he was like, hey, bro, take this hat, bro. I want to give it to you as a gift. Gave his friend the hat. 
and let and his friend was like, "All right, cool," and he left. Eventually, you know, your homies gotta leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's leaving in his new hat, and he's watching through the blinds, and he said all he heard was fa 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 fa, and the dude just got lit up, and he was just like, "Oh shit, he ain't died though." But goddamn, like I knew, I knew they was like, yeah. He knew that I guess the tip he got was real, that they were looking for him for real. And he had seen a car outside. Wow. That is like, that's so evil. That's actually like unsuspecting, undeserving. That has nothing to do with the, the, I mean, as far as I know, it has nothing to do with the immunity order. I mean, this is no, like... Is that like after? Shit? Yeah, I'm like, this is ridiculous. I think they'll get himself caught up with these stories. <clears throat> yeah. Because they're mean, like, I'm sorry, what happened at the witness protection house? <laughs> <laughs> he got shot up. <laughs> that is ridiculous. He found a... Oh, my gosh. And he told that story. Yes. That is ridiculous. In an interview. And in like pretty much set up his homie to get shot up. Who didn't die. But it was just like, and he's like, yeah, I just played it off after that. It's like, damn, bro, what happened? And he's like, the dudes were just like, hey, what's up? And just started blasting me. And he's like, I don't know, I don't know why they're so angry. He's like, damn, bro, some people just don't like you, I guess. That's what he was saying in the interview. That's for, yeah, 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 yeah. This isn't a recording. Yeah, this is ridiculous, though. Even he's always like on the the right, the great side. He had a prison fight. Where he, the the all the guards came in with the shield, he flipped one guard over, stood on his neck, flipped <laughs> the shield over, so he was in the shield with the thing, and using him and the other guards were hitting his own guard with him. Bro, maybe this guy <laughs> should be in the WWE, bro. <laughs> this guy's but like that was a crazy a story made he told, up bro. man. This is a crazy story. Yeah. Oh my god. What a hell of a life. <clears throat> that yeah. The last one where this one's kind of insane. I don't know how much it would cost for you to have to murder your family member. That is a crazy like beginning to any story. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm about to tell you, yeah. mate. So mate, yeah, he crazy. went to his stash, his secret stash, mm. and he found out that six thousand dollars in a chain was missing. Oh, and okay. he knows only his older brother knows where that money is. He was the only one in the room when he put it in there. And he was the only one who knew about the chain and where to pawn it at. So, and the pawn shop called him. It was like, the chain I made you got pawned off here, right? Mm. Uh, so he was like, all right, cool. Don't sweat it. He paid for the chain back, got it back, came home, and he found his brother nodding in the bathroom. His brother was an addict. Um, and he was just had a needle in his arm, rope, and he was yeah. nodding in oh, the bathroom. Terrible, yeah. So he is like, all right, bet. Go straight out to the car, pops the trunk. Pulls out a shotgun, comes right back inside, aims it, and as soon as he's about to pull it, son slaps it. Then he blows off the roof, right? Whoa. So he, poof, the shit's going. He said his brother didn't react one time. His, his brother just still nodding off. Yeah. And it's his mom. His mom's like, what the fuck? And he's like, mom, what the fuck are you? Move. And he's like, no, that's your fucking brother. Like, that's your, like, your actual yeah, yeah, yeah. brother, right? And he's like, yeah, he's not my brother. He stole from me six bands and a chain for yeah, more money, yeah, yeah. I, I guess, for heroin. Um, so he pushes off, lines up for a second shot, and then she jumps in front of it and, oh. is, and is like, hey, stop, stop, stop. So he's like, oh, oh. all right, fine. What? And he's like, promise you will not kill your brother. And she, he said, all right, mom, as long as you're alive, I promise I will not kill my brother. Oh, my God. And then he just puts up the shotgun and end the story right there. Oh, my gosh. So he offed his mom. No. Oh. She didn't jump in mid-shot. She just jumped in the way so yeah, yeah, he yeah. wouldn't shoot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. Because I thought that was like, as long yeah. as you're alive, and then he popped yeah. her and then popped the brother. Because I, I, I think that's where this guy's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So they're alive. 
I mean, as far as the story's been told. Uh, right? I mean, I don't think anymore. He's old. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, his yeah. His mom is probably dead. Yeah. Uh, and his brother was an addict, and I think he died, like, just sometime. Okay. But that had a relatively... I mean, considering who we're talking about, that had a good ending to it. Yeah, I yeah, say, yeah, yeah. I say good. Very, yeah, because nobody died. Yeah. Nobody died. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure the relationship probably didn't change that much. Oh yeah. I'm yeah. pretty sure shit like that didn't just come out the I mean, you got one son shooting up heroin, the other one coming to shoot him. Yeah. You know yeah. what they're into. You know what I mean? Like there's only so much you'd be blind to, especially mm-hmm. when they're apparently in your house. Hmm. Uh so yeah, yeah, okay. Was that the That was Boone. That that's was Nate one, Boone. That's one half Nate Boone craft. Oh my gosh. So yeah, he did his. I think like he he'd been in jail for a while, like oh, seventeen years or something. Seventeen, okay, yeah. that's but he not ended life. up flipping because I don't know what you mean by that. Flipping, he ended up telling. Oh, okay. He okay. become a snitch, a rat. After seventeen years, I feel like I mean, no, this was it. just like throughout his life. Oh, okay, like okay, that. okay, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I don't know if he did seventeen before he snitched. But what caused him to snitch allegedly mm. was okay. Nate harbored a personal vendetta against Terrence Boogaloo Brown. Terrence Boogaloo Brown, who was a fellow gang member, of course. He murdered Bungaloo. Bugaloo. Okay, not Bungalow. O O G A L U. Okay, Boogaloo. Boogaloo. That's yeah. an interesting name. Terrence Boogaloo is his nickname. Right, right, right. Like yeah, Boogaloo. Street name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Street name. Yeah. I know about these <laughs> nicknames. Yeah. So Terrence Boogaloo Brown mm. killed Kraft's younger brother while he was in prison. Dang. Yeah. So when Terrence came home, he was. Terrence came home? Oh, I'm sorry. When Nate came home. Mm uh Terrence was obviously already out when he was out killing right, his right, brothers right. allegedly. That's what the law said allegedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Nate said that's who did it. And that's the reason he decided to turn against the best friends gang. Cuz of the yeah, cuz of that. Yeah. And he was also looking at life in prison. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, you got to got to look at some stuff. <laughs> You could just blame this guy that allegedly did something while you were Man. in prison. Yeah, yeah. Or it could be because you were never getting out ever. Ever. And 17, I mean, yeah, at yeah. some point you're going to be, I mean, nobody looks at prison and is like, yeah. Yeah, but he wasn't a very, like, honorable man. I don't think he really claimed to be. I think he more, he claimed several times, all of this is for the money. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. reason that his first mob boss dude, Got okay. killed. Uh, what was his name? Mercedes. I think his his name. I think his his nickname was something Mercedes. Mm-hmm. But he was his boss beforehand. He hired him off the rip because he heard about his reputation for two bands. Just off like here, where you work. Just follow me around, protect me. Here's two bands right now, and I'll pay you a like a crazy amount a lot. Yeah, the dudes that were looking to take him out were just like, "Bro, we'll pay you double right now. Like, we'll just pay you four bands." And he was like, "Oh, okay." And they went up there and killed him while he was in the fucking hospital. Dang, and he's supposed to be standing guard. Yeah, that's that's your security. It's scary more as hell, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Imagine that. This super demon gremlin dude. <laughs> it's all for the money. But that's he claimed he wasn't. A serial killer because boy <laughs> look at the writing on the wall that is ridiculous yeah because he was like it was just for money he only killed money that doesn't mean you're not a serial killer <laughs> <laughs> what the heck that is ridiculous i kill for the love of it bro not because <laughs> a labor of love yeah for money's yeah that was a crazy time man that was ridiculous um, Oof. yeah, man, that was the crack era, the height of it, yeah. 70s and 80s, yeah. heroin, then crack. We haven't even talked about Sammy the Bull, bro. Oh my gosh, yeah, my heart, Sammy 
in quotations, the bull, Gravano, a former underboss. Okay, sorry. Sammy the Bull Gravano, mm. a former underboss of the Gambino crime family Gambino. in New York, born and raised in Brooklyn, known for his ruthless ruthlessness, <laughs> known for his ruthlessness and his business prowl. Mm. You feel me? So he's a, he he was a good businessman, admitting to nineteen murders. And also testifying against big people like John Gotti. Yeah, I wouldn't be saying no names right now. <laughs> I think we get the big picture, brother. Yeah. You don't need to get into specifics. Yeah. I mean, I'm associated with you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so I don't know how long. On, on yeah, John yeah. Gotti, bro. Okay, yeah, yeah. But before they had, is it alleged that he did, or is this like it's on? It's like a video. Okay, cool. Yeah, you got obviously discussed. He's in court. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Him. Got you. Got you. Nineteen people this time. Nineteen is crazy. This is a different atmosphere. This might be more of your type of vibe, you know, (laughs) mob life. You know, (laughs) you come to me today, (laughs) the day of my daughter's wedding. You know why they did that? No, I don't. I guess it was like Creole. Uh, Creole? Like Southern? No. No. Okay. It was whatever Italians are. Oh. You know what I'm gotcha. trying to think of? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. French. Creole, like the language. Yeah. Creole French. Yeah, we're getting canceled. <laughs> but it was. So, I know. I know what oh, you're talking about. Fuck. I've heard it like one time by Sicily. Yeah, Sicily. Sicily. It's Sicily, like ritual heritage mm. that if on your daughter's wedding mm-hmm. if you go to the father and request something he cannot deny it so that's why the father is going hide i guess during the day of their daughter's wedding because random people would go up and ask them yeah i don't know crazy anything. things yeah i don't know i mean i see some like clips of the movie i've never watched the godfather neither have i um, i just found that out earlier today on the godfather breakdown <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I Did think you, I mean, you probably watched the movie. I never you, seen the movie. If you put a horse just ahead of, <laughs> but yeah, it kind of okay, explains yeah, yeah, that yeah. scene a little bit. That's why he was like, "The one day <laughs> <laughs> that I can't tell you <laughs> no, you dickhead." <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. Back to this. So this is it, this is mob business. Yes, this is mob time. Suits, ties, bats, knives, the whole rigmarole. Hmm. I was about to call him Johnny Blaze. Sammy the Bull. <laughs> Johnny Blaze. <laughs> Fantastic Four. <laughs> he did what to who? <laughs> okay, so uh, the Bull, right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. 19 people just in court. Yeah. So how, how much time was he facing? A life. I mean, how much time do you think 19 murders get you? That makes perfect sense. Yeah. And he was being indicted on all types of stuff. Oh, yeah. And so what made him flip was they had... Allegedly. No. Okay, go <laughs> well, ahead. He said it. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to say my ass. <laughs> Swear to uh, In an interview, he was like, uh, John Gotti was caught by the federal government on tape recordings, secret tape recordings that John Gotti didn't know were being recorded, talking that hot shit swear jar about Sammy. Mm. So they was gossiping about Sammy the Bull. I don't know who he was talking to him about, but it made him really question the loyalty and his position in there. And when your position is at stake, oh, your life is at stake. Yeah. And he felt like he was being sacrificed and his posi- and he wasn't appreciated for essentially killing or being associated with 19 murders and killing people for this man and et cetera. Whatever he was doing to cop for ratting, pretty much. <laughs> Both these dudes ratted, bro. Yeah. Like, terribly. Because um, your whole life is like, you're like, oh, the mob, this. I, I'll do anything for these guys. <laughs> Except that one thing. Which is a very big one thing. It's got to be said. 
Yeah, it's going to prison forever? Sad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you're murdering people, bro. Yeah, of course. But then you're also free. You know what I mean? And everything looks to be going your way. And when that, you know... <laughs> Yeah, when that hits, it's it's a different. It's and a low different key, vibe. it is. It seems like for most of the time, it seems way more. Oh lit. my gosh! Just yeah, to for do sure. all the crime, and then oh my gosh, fold at the and and yeah, obviously he's under somebody who he trusts a lot. And hearing any type of recording, I mean, I'm not sure how he he got the recordings. Oh, if, they if showed a, him it to make him want to testify. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So they're setting him up against each other, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. but you can't really. It wasn't AI back then. Oh, yeah, nah. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine today? They just play a recording of you saying, I don't think he could bench 210. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe him. <laughs> like, you see the way his shirt fit today? Like, <laughs> like yeah, you, we got to. <laughs> nah. I've, yeah. I've seen them Do you think you would you would tell like, say we went to a tire shop, yeah, we stole yeah. 150 tires and we put them inside of oh what <laughs> and we put them this inside is of this a, is ridiculous. How would you transport that? So I'm, stole, I'm, I'm not gonna listen to an idea of yours that's absolutely outrageous. If you try for what what would 150 tires so do for you? So we rent a, a big ass. Truck. Let's not. I mean, let's not just. Give out all the details. We rent a big truck. We're able to move the wheels for some reason. The tires. All right, fine. How about this? 2 a.m., we climb the back of a Best Buy, going through the roof, fire escape, steal a handful of laptops and whatever we could climb up the ladder with. Yeah, yeah. We get, they come to our house. Yep. Right? The mm -hmm. next day. <laughs> Can't believe this. <laughs> they play the recording. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he cuts his own hair. We can tell. <laughs> Who the fuck does he think he's fooling? <laughs> oh, you don't cut your hair anymore? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> All right, well, let's say they go to your house. He thinks people think that he looks like Duke Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Am I recording? Make sure you get this. <laughs> Make sure you get this part too. <laughs> <laughs> he is not duped. <laughs> it's yeah, a, but a, does that make yeah. you want to fold? No, 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 not at face value. Yeah, I think if there's like more substantial, like I got to see a paperwork first. You know what I mean? There's got to be something because people could say whatever they want to. Yeah. I think there's one cop, like this technique. This guy was telling his story, and this guy was like narrating. He was like, "And this cop, this detective, pulled out the most sophisticated." perfect time maneuver that throws people off their their mental trail to, you know because if you're telling a story you're trying to or keep up with the lie what they were trying to say mm. uh you'll lose your train of thought and so in the middle of and i there's a video on you can search it up in the middle of the interview you see a detective like lean back <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and the narrator of the of the of the reel was like it was so perfect. <laughs> you could see the confusion on the witness's face. And I'm like, what are you talking about? That was that was stupid. <laughs> I would be like, bro, you're crazy. Get out of here. That would make you probably like either think, okay, this guy is weird. Stupid, oh, yeah. Or am I think like I'm fucking am I tripping? <laughs> Like going crazy right the now? guy was like confused because this was yeah. a very serious detective yeah. pulling out a maneuver like that. You got to question yourself. I put, I killed nineteen people. You're playing games right now. <laughs> this is a serious conversation. I'm telling you that I did. Fuck. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Another one in the I, I would say, in terms of the detectives, I just I've never been in a detective room. I don't know the pressure. I don't know the crime. I just I know. Light work. I just know. If I would like to see an attorney first, you know, and kind of you know wait out what needs to be waited out, find out what I'm really in involved in, mm -hmm. you know, because yeah, yeah it's it's a lot, you know. Right, we're the, the detective crazy. office right now. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Did you give me this? You want something to drink? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Fucking tough cookie. I'm clean right now. Okay. Okay. Hey, how you doing, buddy? What's your name? Huh? 
I'm Detective John. You know, I'm just meeting you. First oh, time. So okay. what's your name? That's good. Uh, you, you got my ID already. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's get the paperwork out. Now, they, didn't, they didn't just handcuff me off the street. You know? <laughs> Y'all brought me here. I mean, they did handcuff you off the street. No, they didn't just like do like a, oh, get him. You know? <laughs> Catch you pissing in a Krispy Kreme drive through So I don't even like donuts. Okay. You guys had your, you guys didn't have body cam? Oh, yeah. Uh, Marcos Hernandez Jr. Not even close. <laughs> you have been accused of mm. beating up four men your own age <laughs> in the span of seven months. Was I convicted of that? Sir, it says here they were all autistic. Was I convicted? <laughs> How did you find more than six autistics in one state? Was I convicted of that? So you know was this I is was true. Was I convicted though? Oregon has the highest was amount I convicted, though? of 24-year-old autistic men in <laughs> any county. <laughs> That's a weird data uh, statistic there. And was, I'm sorry. Was I convicted of that? I'm just, I'm just trying to be in the Guinness, bro. <laughs> I just need you, bro. We could do this together. Admit. I like to see my lawyer, please. Ah, okay. We can't talk to him no more. Yep. Here we go. Okay, that's pretty good. Fuck. I'm solid. Uh, nah, in real life, <laughs> those niggas will never see justice. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a recording of you on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. It seems to be first person. This it's is one like and I'll beat up four autistic people. <laughs> Liked by Marcus Hernandez Jr. <laughs> I mean, the evidence is right in front of you, in front of us. That would be tough, man. I'm trying to say that tough because I'm, I'm a, I would say I'm a, a pretty friendly guy, you know? Yeah. But in terms of like the law... Yeah. Like if I get pulled over for, I mean, let's say something ridiculous, like a DUI or something, That's you know, insane. I would still, hey, I'm not refusing to cooperate. I would like to speak to an attorney first. You know what I mean? For a DUI? For anything. How does that work? I have no idea. I think they could just make you blow into the thing. I would like and to speak to an attorney. If you refuse to blow into it, they take me to jail. Yeah, and then they make you do a blood draw. Right. I don't think the attorney thing works there. I'm just saying. I think you could refuse to answer any questions because most people would be like, "I had a drink or two. Oh yeah. Don't yeah. admit to anything ever. Man, you know, I had a, I had a. I'm not gonna give no names, but I, I had to go pick up somebody. I had to pick up a car because mm -hmm. there was two people driving the vehicle, and uh, the cop who had shown up talking to me, they said, "Yeah, so." We're going to go ahead and rule this case a, a, a double DUI. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> a, double DUI. a double DUI. They say, yeah, we got witness and, and uh, uh, almost confession, but enough to go off of. We're going to charge the two people in this vehicle with a double DUI. <laughs> what the fuck? And when I heard that, I looked at the witnesses and, and I mean, I didn't get charged. Yeah. I was like... How the mess do you get a double DUI? Which one of you saw one foot on the brake, one foot on the pedal? That's I was so crazy. confused. And the person getting arrested, they told me first what they're going to yeah. go do. Then they went to the, the person in handcuffs, right? Yeah. And they said, hey, um, so we got the driver. And we're charging them with DUI. And what's going to happen is they're going to go do this, right? And, and this was quick. It was smooth as hell. And then after we get them out of that squad car, they're going to be somewhere else. We're going to go ahead and put you right there. And put it at the squad car. <laughs> and the person I know is 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 <laughs> drunk, right? Oh, That's yeah. Hence the DUI, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> he looks like he's like, okay, cool. That's a cop car. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and charge you as well with the D. And oh my god, the, oh my god, the non. Oh, this is a nonchalant person. And once you hear that, I'm sorry. What did you say? 
they got left with a DUI. I'm getting charged with the DUI, and they got oh furious. The first double DUI in history. <laughs> <laughs> Let it be known at this point. I oh my gosh. Google that. Will I get a DUI too if I'm in the car that, with you? Oh my god. He was so pissed. I, but I was like, that. unless they're like, all right, sir, you can take the car now. We're taking him to jail. And then just like, whoop, as soon as he. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Here I go. And they, yeah. yeah. We got a daily no, demo no, no. today. They had two witnesses say that these people were both driving. So when I got there, it said two people were driving. And I looked at, I mean, I looked at the witnesses. It's an older man and, and, and the, I'm just going to say it for story's sake, and a black lady. All right. So you people, knew one of them? Nah, I didn't no. know the witnesses. I went oh, to go pick up the car. The witnesses said they were both, were they in the car? Two people were in the car, right? Uh -huh. They came out of somewhere where they were drinking. I don't know their business, right? Yeah. I just get a call. Hey, somebody needs to pick up the car. Mm -hmm. I go there. They're still talking to the police about we're trying to figure out what's going on. And I'm over here like, okay, cool. Like, all right, I'm going to drive this person back home. Just give me the keys and everything's going to be fine, right? No. Cop tells me this is what's happening. This is what we heard. We were talking to this person. We asked him all these questions. And we have reasonable evidence that two people were operating this vehicle. <laughs> See, he, we're both drunk. But he was way <laughs> too drunk. So we switched halfway. Yeah, yeah. And... How it got broken down and how I, I found this out a little bit after. Not from the witnesses because they was, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's me. Yeah, yeah. But apparently what had happened is somebody saw a person going crazy. They got out the car, switched drivers, and they were still <laughs> driving crazy. <laughs> and it was at like a, like, I mean, you, you've been at that area. You know what I mean? Where? Like, you know, if you go to Carl's Jr. and you just whoop, 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 oh, just for yeah. no reason, right? Yeah, yeah pe like cops just sit in that area, yeah. you know, waiting for stuff to happen. It's not a good street to be on. A lot of that cars. was, oh my gosh. And, and <laughs> when that person has sobered up, you know, they called me and tried to get me a pep talk, <laughs> you know, about <laughs> lives and, and balances and how you need to learn lessons <laughs> and things. And I think in any other circumstance, had I been talking to this person, I'd be like, you're right. You know, life can happen any other way. But this is a double DUI. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking dumb. This has to be like, I, I can't even like believe it. It's so, it's so crazy to even think that this could happen. But people, you know, in a matter of seconds, you can make a bad decision. Wow. Or in, in terms of what, you know, we were reading about, since you were telling us about, you could be nine years old and just keep going you can keep going yeah that is Kill 29 more people oh my gosh that is terrible oh yeah and then get out and then get out i, I go need on to... interviews and get paid for talking about oh it. my gosh could we uh, i and need laugh like a, about it oh my god i need like a fun fact is there any way to like change the mood real quick oh bro um Oof. so sammy's first murder was a hit <laughs> it was on joe colucci so, you want to know what happened? Joe Colucci found out his wife was getting banged out by someone in the mob, right? Mm. So, Joe Colucci was like, all right, I want the guy banging my wife, which was another member in the mob's nephew. So, not even a member in the mob. Mm. So, a member of the mob's nephew was banging out that dude's wife. And he's like, I want the nephew murdered, that member in the mob, his, so his uncle, I want him murdered, and Sammy because he's the hitman dude. And then six months later, I'm going to kill the boss, too. Whoa. And he's going off on this tirade to a dude named Frank. And he's like, I want all this shit to happen. Frank is like, oh, shit, okay. Oh, shoot, okay. Mm -hmm. And Frank goes and tells the boss immediately. And he's like, this guy is going insane. Joe Colucci is losing his mind. His wife is getting banged out. He can't handle it. He's trying to get dudes hit for it. Ooh. And so he, they obviously reverse the hit on him. And... It's like three guys. They pick up Joe, and they're all just cruising, right? They turn on a Beatles song. One guy turns it up way too loud, according to Sammy. He didn't like how loud it was. And Sammy said he pulled out his 38, and YNW Melly style just, and just popped him. 
And he described it. He's like his first murder. He was just kind of like confused. He was weirded out because the guy didn't do anything. So when he got up and shot him, I think he was expecting maybe like more like yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. type of thing. Obviously, yeah. But when he hit him, his body just did nothing. Like, so it was just doof. And obviously guns are loud as shit in a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he was like, he was freaked out by the fact that nothing happened. So maybe he got scared like a suspense. So he shot him again. <clears throat> obviously headshots, dude's dead. Um, and then they dump him in front of his house. Ooh. Yeah, drive off into the sunset, which is shit that you could do in the middle of the day back at this time in, like, that the 70s. That's crazy. Because shit just cannot be brought <clears throat> Stuff cannot be brought back to you, bro. <laughs> Unless a cop seen it, like, with his eyes. And even then. <laughs> yeah, if you could drive away fast oh enough. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Oh. Yeah, but he still has 19 murders. You know, that's just a story of a murder. That's one of his mob buddies that went bad. The one that's crazy with Sammy, so was Frank Fiala. Frank Fiala was just another gang member, not a part of the family he was mm. in. Okay. So he's from a different family, Just, but he's just a different gang boss. I don't know if he actually has a family. Um, He owned a airport business thing then so they pretty much used it to ship drugs over because he owned a business with airport or airplanes mm. Frank Fiola, Fiola tried to buy Sammy's casino dance hall apartment building thing mm. and at first I guess they were on the same terms yeah the same boat same terms mm -hmm. and it was revealed that frank was just a psycho like he was a crazy dude the party that he was going to throw wasn't like 300 people it was like 100 some people i guess they had chinese food and no one had utensils and they were all eating with their hands and stuff what the heck? yeah so at this point sammy's like all right we're backing out of it we're not doing this no more and Frank wasn't happy about that at all, so he pulled out an Uzi on both of them, quick. He was like, ah, he was in the office with him, pulled out on both of them, and they were both just froze up. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Sh it's nuts. Sammy uh, claimed that he kind of was like, oh, yeah, 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 sorry, you know, like, you know, we actually like what you're doing with the renovations. <laughs> Which were they were just putting <laughs> holes in walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, like you know, we you know, we just it's just lawyer business. You know, sorry, like we ain't trying to get like we ain't trying to bust your balls or nothing. It's just lawyer business. And he's like, all right, and let him go. So as they're walking out, Sammy's like, I'm killing him. <laughs> like I'm fucking killing him. Yeah, swear jar. I'm freaking killing that button, that guy. And as they're leaving, they just meet them right outside of the club. And Sammy's gang shoots the dude in both his kneecaps. Oh. Yeah. And then it is alleged that Sammy then proceeded. Either his jaw was broken and he did this or his jaw was regular and he did this. But he peed in his mouth. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. They stomped him out, shot his kneecaps. Piss in his mouth, like a little bowl. That is, oh, and you had your life in there. Oh my gosh! Yeah, you could have like killed you that dude. You could have easily. Oh, that is crazy. Now he's talking about how he pissed in your mouth. That is so ridiculous. And he got immunity for that shit. Oh my god! <laughs> I always forget that. Man. Yeah, it's like wasabi. You know, yeah. like like you try it, and then it's like, oh okay, cool, and then you get hit. You know, with all that. Mm. Oh my gosh! Oh god! Don't talk about wasabi around Hyla. Hyla was eating oh. um, a sushi uh -huh. tray platter dish, whatever the heck you people call it. I don't really eat this shiznits. I've been getting into it a little bit. <laughs> It's yeah, kind of good. good. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, I don't care. Don't talk about good. it. Uh, so make really good gyosas. All right, bro. I believe you. I'll probably try it. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. <laughs> but she was eating one with avocados in it, mm. 
and she just munching through it, and she just picks up this big ass green thing, and I'm watching her, <laughs> and I saw her pop it in, and I'm eating a Big Mac. <laughs> We went to two different places. I'm eating a Big Mac. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> She's eating sushi. Oh, um, my gosh. And I just see her go like. <laughs> <laughs> and also, we are outside of a bar, too. We got lemon drops and stuff. Dude, We're... this is a weird setting. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All these things are very close to us. Oh, my gosh. So okay. we went to the little outside bar thing. We had our lemon drops. Yeah, yeah. And we're, so we're outside, and it's sunny. Mm. And she's like, oh, and I just see her. Fuck! It starts spitting all <laughs> over the ground. And I'm just like, what the fuck, bro? Like, what are you doing? And then, In front of my Big Mac. <laughs> babe, in front of my Big Mac. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So she spits it out, yeah. Yeah, and I'm just like... <laughs> Okay, that was weird. Oh my gosh! And she was just like, it was "Wasabi!" Like well, I just ate. Like I was like, "Why the heck would you eat a bunch?" And she was like, "I thought it was avocados, man." <laughs> she just thought it was a big ass piece of set to the side avocado. <laughs> you said extra avocado they usually put. <laughs> that is extra guac. <laughs> they normally don't do this, but. <laughs> Yeah, chopstick, just the whole glob. Oh, my oh. gosh. Do you chew into it at all? Get into like, do you try to get into it at all? No, I just like for a second. I try to think like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. whoa. I can't breathe. <laughs> I was looking for something to spit in. Oh, my so I think that's what the shake was, was her eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scanning yeah. the area. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I have like, well, my, yeah, it's more gross, but. What you, you ate wasabi? That. No, not me. It's having somebody else. Oh, what happened to them? Uh, I also got sushi oh. at the same place where. See, it's not good for yeah, you. Yeah, we got you know we're just you know chilling, having some mm-hmm. sushi, and then and she's indulging on you know seaweed salad, sushi, and then the plate. Yeah, they got wasabi. They also have kimchi, right? Mm-hmm. And then some like little cut up carrot that looks cool, you know. Facts always. And they're like, oh, she's like, oh, okay. oh, cool. I'm, uh, oh, it's kimchi. I'm gonna eat some. Eat some. I'm like, you sure that's good for you? I was like, that looks gross. It looks like just it, it just looks weird. Kimchi has a weird look and mm-hmm. texture to it. It's I not, would I, I would not it. eat it, right? I understand some people would, you know, and that's fine if if you're wrong. But yeah. Anyways, so kimchi, sushi, everything's fine. We get to the drive home, and some, I, I look over, and and, and this person looks at least four shades like wider than they did at the sushi restaurant. I'm like, you better not. Oh, you better oh not. My God. And there and she's there just sitting, she takes off seatbelt. Oh, I already know this movement. When oh, you gotta lean back God. and you're holding your stomach, I'm like, you better not in this car, I swear to God. And so they try to open the door. And we're in the street at this point. We're driving, oh, right? I'm yeah. driving, I should say. And yeah. and if you can't go in the car, you got to go outside. So I just see them try to open the door real fast because the window wasn't rolling down fast enough. And there's a car pulling up here. I said, you got to cloak. And she opens it. She sees, closes it super fast. And as soon as she gets a chance, opens it right back up. Blah, throws up all over the side of the street and it was embarrassing it was a red light as soon as that happened too it was just like everybody's seconds. just yeah like i could hear it and i'm just, Hurry up. yeah 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 and i don't know like for well, two things one I, I i respect her a lot because being able to hold in throw up in your mouth is impossible and like, cause if it was me in my car, I'd be driving. Bleh. <laughs> I have no self control. The- oh my gosh! I, yeah, like like the wipers uh, won't work. It's on the. <laughs> it's, it's like home alone. Not home alone. Are we there yet? And and uh, oh, I don't remember that. No, okay, it doesn't matter. Um, they had the the self control to hold it, wait for the car to go by. And then just do it. I don't think they were expecting the car to just stop. <laughs> Cause I saw the door swing a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, as soon as they got back in the car, I'm driving off. She just says, kimchi. 
<laughs> so yeah, she never ate yeah. kimchi after that, and and good. What is kimchi even made out of? I have no. I think it's just what it is. Like 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 broccoli is like. Right. What is that made of? Yeah, of broccoli. Have, oh yeah, Nate Boone was talking about how other dudes were having sex with some gay security uh, prison guards, and the prison guards would stick their butt up right into the cell. Oh my god! And papped out. That is yeah. His stories were other always just like other dudes. Yeah, this. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's always yeah. in like the yeah, like the good side. Yeah, just yeah. he was like, oh my god, what are they doing? But I mean, also that's. <laughs> and then some true. other guy was like, I got next. Totally not him again. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably him. Just you getting around too. <laughs> I wouldn't say that while he's free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say too much. Yeah, I mean, I would say we heard his side. Nobody else said none. So I mean, yeah. that's what we have. Yeah, um, <laughs> fucking rats, bro. <laughs> They're fucking rats. Yeah, yeah. You get you get upset. <laughs> yeah, bro. I don't like that stuff, bro. That stuff. Really, get out of here, really, man. Get out of here. That stuff really pisses me get off. Get out of here. You know, I you know what niggas like me, man. <laughs> You know, people like me and Duke Dennis. <laughs> if there's one thing we can't stand, it's a guy that can't get out of here. <laughs> All right, I want to thank you so much for being part of the podcast today. Y'all have a, a lovely evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you at. I hope you're loved, uh, safe, and whole. And again, thank you so much. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, read that bell notification. I've been your co-host, Marcos, joined by... Your host, your host, Duke Dennis. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Don't do that. <laughs> Go ahead and hit stop recording. No.